Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the part 17 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.6. And in this video as well, we will continue working on product attributes. And so uh, now our main objective is to store data in our product attributes table. So in part 17, um, uh, we will continue uh, working on product attributes. Okay. And and uh, in this video we are going to store product attributes mm -hmm. we will say in our table in our in table uh, product attributes let's, let's go attributes okay When we are saving, see it is coming like this. SKU is coming fine, price is coming fine, price is coming fine, and stock is coming fine. Now we just need to save it. And for saving, uh, we just disable this one. And we require uh, for its loop. So for saving, we will do for it. And we can process the first SKU. If SKU is coming, then everything is coming. In the later videos, we will add validation as well. Uh, so SKU is required. If the person is filling SKU, then it means that the person need to fill other entries as well. So we will do SKU first, and we will check the with SKU to the data SKU. SKU is coming and we can do like this. Okay, like this. And yeah. Now, if our value is not empty, if our value is not empty, then we can proceed. Then we can take this. Dollar attribute 
good okay like this and we can take new product model here model name will come yes fine products attribute see this model name we have added here okay so now so uh, first of all uh, we need to say one thing is left one thing is left in form here the rest of the data we can save but we also need to save the tidy okay we will save that later on but uh, first let us do with this thing and language sku to look there and, and it is coming in value okay now another one sku and like this right is coming in like this then data and size then dollar key fine like this okay and this one we can do like this uh, we are having more price also can do like this like okay fine and then this one it goes to stop and stop we can do like this like this person like this yeah and after that we are going to Save it. Save it. Fine. So uh, now we are going to check. And uh, first, let me check that whether it is okay, fine or not. I'm going to refresh. Continue. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, we need to add product ID as hidden field and to save it to pass to add 
that is a function this function l and then small it to it to products From here we will get ID and now we need to add and check. So we can try it or not. So we can add again small and then add medium. Medium this and add again. Then we will add large like this. Yeah, 10, 10, 10, anything you can add. Now I'm going to, to, to add attribute. See, now it has come. Now we check. See now, it's coming fine. See, data is coming fine, small, medium, and large. Now it has come and also it moves back from here. So, what? We will do one more thing. Uh, we want to show method as well. So we'll return from here. Return. Uh, redirect. Admin. And it is like. And object views. Like this. And this one also. ID then this one yeah now we repeat this one get messages and finally contact attributes uh, and the address is what we use to give you the same point the same thing message yeah, has been added successfully like this okay Now 
I'm going to add this attribute as well. See now, attribute standard search is now the message has also come. And the now browse, see now Excel size has also come, Excel also come. All these sizes have come correctly now. Now it must be clear to you. And now see the video. Video we able to add product attributes in products underscore attributes table. Okay, uh, now in next video uh, uh, we will add validations and uh, then we'll show attributes. Hope everything is clear to you and uh, you enjoy watching this video and uh, hope you guys able to do this kind of functionality uh, you can create of your own and uh, take help from this video as well.